Welcome to Nerdmageddon. Hello! Hello. Welcome back to Nerdmageddon, where we have some breaking nerd news, actually, to start off with. Slightly upsetting, but yes. Yes. Um, For those of you who are like me, you watched Glee in, like, middle school, high school, you know uh, Naya Rivera as Santana. And right now, she is currently missing. Her four-year-old son was found alone on a boat in a South Southern Californian lake. Uh, people are now assuming she is dead. She's been missing since Wednesday. So, like, the day before we recorded this. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure by the time this gets put out, we'll, they will have found her, presumably alive, hopefully. Mm-hmm. That's the hope. Um, but they are, like, searching the lake, not necessarily for a living person. No, I know, yeah. <sighs> um, but, yeah, no, I was actually... I mentioned this before we started recording. It seems very, like, Natalie Wood, who also disappeared on a boat. And, like, Riviera, like, thought she was a cool person. So, correlation. Natalie Wood was murdered by her husband. You can't convince me otherwise. (laughs) The opposite of Carol Baskin. A rock. And Christopher Christopher Walken was there. (laughs) There. Yeah, he was. Seriously. Oh. Yeah, no, seriously, look it up. It's uh, like Christopher Walken was with them that weekend on the boat. Mm. I've been under a rock. I think I've been under a rock, guys. Well, the Natalie Wood thing is old, old. Yeah, like that's like 50s, 60s. I I didn't even really know how bad. Mm. (laughs) But yeah, so in less depressing news, uh, Baby Sears Club is joining Netflix. Molly. Yeah, so I never read the books. But, <laughs> my, <did> I. <laughs> but my sister did, and she was super excited, and I think her and her roommate are watching it together. Um, but so I just kind of knew it was a thing, because one, Netflix thought that I should know it was a thing, and then two, she was super excited about it. But um, from what I've heard, they are updating it for more modern times. So it's not set when they were written. It's actually set in, like, 2020. But okay. I do believe that the premise is still the same. They um, are a club of babysitters. Okay, I was about to ask for the ignorant, uh, what is it? Because I've never heard of it before. Yeah. So. It's just a very long-running book series about a bunch of friends who are in a babysitter's club. Hmm. You think it's going to have a club of anything. You think it's yeah. your attempt at doing, like, the next teen teen novel series, like they try to do every couple years or so? I Probably. mean, well, babysitter's club is more for, like, middle schoolers and, like, or not middle schoolers, sorry, elementary schoolers. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um... Well, because I know my little god sister, she's in, uh, going into the fourth grade, and she started reading a baby, uh, babysitter's club back in January. Yeah. So it's more of like a grade school kind of book series, so it might be a grade school show, but they might also make it appealing to those who grew up with it. I wouldn't be surprised if they made them older than they were in the books probably. Mm. I'm not sure about that. I guess that they were younger in the books, but I honestly don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing with ages, but they are apparently changing up some of the races of characters. Um, They (laughs) are also including a lot of different like storylines mainly do dealing with like lgbtq and social socioeconomic status so they're like trying that. to make it modern and like inclusive to everyone all right that's nice like, yeah look like huh? take away from the essence of the original story it, well, should... it doesn't it doesn't take away all that much it really doesn't yeah looking at the article that molly posted with this 
it seems like for the most part that they're staying true they're just adding in more of a 2020 feel to it so they're adding in more like the technology and stuff which i'm sure could influence the plot i am like molly i never read the books but i'm going to assume that if they had cell phones that probably would have helped with most of the situations that they were in just kind of guessing you know offhanded um but yeah i think this is gonna be interesting uh mm-hmm. I'm curious to see how this plays out because, again, it could go, you know, we're targeting the nostalgia of those who grew up reading the books or they're just going to go for a completely new demographic. Can I just say that I think that the idea of recycling material is really annoying? Yes. Like, to the point that it's like it's everything now is just unoriginal nobody has any Mm -hmm. real good ideas anymore yeah like there are some things where like i understand like okay you know percy jack's fans we've been wanting a decent screen adaptation for a while i mean yeah, and like you know it's not saying like oh like this is gonna be like a new thing we we're all very aware of like what it is but at the same time it's so overdone let jurassic park be let everything be <laughs> on that note have you guys heard that disney's wanting to um bring pirates of the caribbean back but they're trying to find someone to replace um johnny depp as jack sparrow because he won't come back for it so they're attempting to do the next movie with a different person for jack sparrow like that's a asking for horrible just death. make a new like character that's inspired no, that's not by doing. johnny depp's character they're, they're like, are by looking sparrow. for someone to be jack sparrow who's not johnny depp no no one's gonna watch it like i'm sorry to say disney but no one's gonna watch someone else pretend to be jack sparrow because it won't work well no and like if they could definitely use the same universe just like have it be like focus on someone else's character like will and elizabeth's son yeah Um, who's named somebody or somebody (laughs) on the other side of the world considering they spend most of their time in the caribbean yeah Yeah. or or like somewhere south you know south on the other side of the globe, like yeah, Australia. Or like, slight spoiler alert for those who have not seen like the latest and like or like the last movie. Mm-hmm. Why not like Barbosa's daughter? Like how how did she become to be kind of thing? Somebody actually slept with Barbosa. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> they make that joke in the movie that uh, uh Carol makes one of them for it, saying there's no way that actually happened. Like it's, it's yeah, actually pretty no. funny. I honestly didn't hate the fifth one as um as bad as many people. Did. It was better than the fourth one, um, and I think thought it was a good ending for the series personally. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, speak. Oh, go ahead. I just I I love the franchise so much, but I think it should just stop though too. Oh yeah, yeah. That. Respect it. Don't wring mm-hmm. it dry like they did the Ice Age. Well, speaking of series continuing on, uh, there's talks of a Black Panther 2. This has kind of been in the works since Black Panther came out. But Mm. they're now starting to look at who could possibly be playing future Queen of Wakanda, Storm. And I'm going to attempt to say this name correctly. Uh, Janelle Monet uh, has thrown her hat in the ring. She said that she wants to play Storm uh, if they get to bring her into the MCU. Mm-hmm. that's really exciting personally just because i i think that um disney kind of delving into the mcu and exploring these different uh these different african-american mm-hmm. uh heroes is really really nice because most of the time it's always just simple you know oh peter parker yeah tony T- tony stark you know all that and it's really refreshing to see a wider variety of uh, of people representing heroes. Well, to, so to be fair in that regard, Simon, they had built the MCU using those original heroes, and so but they've reached their um, their end. So yeah, now mm-hmm. they're able to turn on the new heroes. So I, I'm yeah. mostly just saying that because you almost sounded like they were like specifically choosing just to focus on those. No, guys. no, yeah, I didn't mean. I I mean, it's nice, but at the same time, it's still. I know that they're already in a new phase yeah, and they're needing now to that put new characters in. Yeah, now that they've finished with them, they can get new ones. Well, it's not even just that, but now they're starting to slowly, hopefully, incorporate X-Men into the MCU. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Storm being one of the most prominent X-Men figures out there. Uh, I'm really excited. So uh, Court Jensen, he is a really big fan of the Storm uh, T'Challa uh, ship. Storm. <laughs> and um, he was talking, when like Black Panther first came out, he was talking about the big Wakandan wedding uh, that they had mm. in the comics and like how much of a big deal it was. I want that to be done right. I mm. want to see an awesome, fantastic wedding. Like, oh, no. I don't care who it is. Give me that wedding scene. But mm-hmm. What do you mean by awesome, fantastic? Like, again, I'm an ignorant person here. So, what was it like? Um, like, what are you asking for? The standards. I, I'm, I want something like, uh, better than Princess Diaries to Royal Engagement. Um, uh, which, wow. Which to me is like that's a big deal. Like that was, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, also showing my age there a little bit. Um, <laughs> You're, we're losing but, you, Corey. Uh, I just think that uh, it's huge. It's kind of from the way Court described it and just the pictures that I've seen from the comics, imagine the royal wedding, like the actual royal wedding of between Kate and Will times three. That's yeah. like the vibe. Accurate. Plus like Carnival from Brazil. You add a little bit of that in too. It's a huge feast. It's a big, big deal. And I just, I want that to be done correctly. I want it to be a big production, both figuratively and literally. Mm. Mm-hmm. I will say I'm going to miss the actors and actresses from the X-Men universe. Mm-hmm. Oh, from yeah, the they do tie them in because those are some good, good they, representation. Yeah, they cast them really well. I mean, Hugh Jackman is always going to be Wolverine. I don't oh, think yeah. they're going to try. No one else can replace him. I know. I don't think they're ever going to try and make another Wolverine like in the MCU. If they do, people are going to hate it. Well, yeah. So if they do, they might go with Laura and not. Oh yeah, they'll go Logan. with. Hey. Yeah, they'll go with her. Because there is now Laura, and she has been pretty well set up. Not even just, like, in the movies, but also in the comics. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Surprising news, guys. Uh, I've never seen Logan. Neither have I. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. You guys need to see it. I know. Um, You know, honestly, like, we're talking about as if they're going to replace all the actors who've played the X-Men. That may not necessarily be true. They're, they could extend to them a contract. I mm. don't see any reason why the guy who played Beast or Nightcrawler would be denied the opportunity to play those again. From the already, um, from the Sony, from not the Sony, from the... It's the Sony, it's Fox. It's so- Fox. Oh, yeah, Fox. Yeah. Yeah. From the Fox. Um, it's mostly just going to depend on how they want to bring their characters in. Because mm-hmm. if they want Storm to be a viable option for... T'Challa to marry, they can't bring in Alexandra Ship and have her be Storm unless they do like a backstory like here's young Storm and now here's adult Storm, a different actress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or it could, I don't know. I, I think that there's a lot of characters and, you know, really nice storylines within X Men. I mean, they're doing uh, the New Mutants. Yes. Which is going to be amazing. I'm so excited for that. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so those are all characters that most people have never heard of, which is great. You know, start with obscurity. Mm-hmm. And people will yeah. enjoy it from that point. Yeah. Um, and just kind of saying in this vein of things kind of getting uh, renewed, remastered, uh, new-ish, I guess. Digimon has been remastered Yes. Yeah. Mm. It is different than the original. It's mm-hmm. the original series Digimon Adventure from 1999. Mm-hmm. They've actually changed it. I was reading. I haven't seen it, but I was reading an article about it. And no longer is there like a Digiverse that's a separate world, but they're actually going into the internet. Oh. And so, so like, like, so like in the Digimon movie. Yeah, so the implications of what happens there is actually a bit more real of what's, like, how it can affect the real world than it being a (laughs) land from 
yeah. But it's the same exact characters, um, just different. All right. I, that sounds interesting. I, uh, I grew up sort of watching Digimon. I wasn't, like, deep into it or anything. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a so. staple in my household. Mm. Yeah, it I is. was, like, I think that the only Digimon thing that I regularly watched was the Digimon movie where they go into the internet and yeah it's really confusing but yeah I remember <laughs> it apparently they go straight to champion oh gosh what? sorry yeah. I was reading an article and so did you Digimon have different levels it's kind of like Pokemon and evolutions yeah mm -hmm. they're called like Digivolutions it's yeah. hilariously close but like the top one is called champion so they have the digimon go from their babies to their champions in like the first episode that they're in apparently which is what? hilarious and terrifying what? yeah pikachu yeah. still hasn't evolved in pokemon Oh, well, it's never, never going, going to. Evolve. Oh, yeah. It's never going to evolve. Then, then there wouldn't be Pikachu anymore. They dedicated right a whole episode to Pikachu being like, nah, I'm good being Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, because Ash got a Thunderstone, and he's like, yo, you want it? And he's and Pikachu was like, nah, nah get that bro, away I'm from good. me. <laughs> Pikachu's just like, no, I will not be cute and fluffy, or at least as cute and fluffy anymore. Go away. But yeah. yeah. And then finally, Corbett, you want to talk about some Halo stuff yes. that came out? So, uh, Halo in the Halo community has been rather interesting. Um, with the Master Chief Collection being released on PC, they've been releasing the individual games in stages. And everybody's been waiting for the next release, which is Halo 3. And they finally announced when it's going to release, which is going to be July 13th, um, is when it's finally going to come to um, the PC where people can buy it on Steam and all that. And they're also hoping for new releases for the actual uh, MCC and other consoles as well, because along with the individual games on PC, they've been adding features to the console version of the games too with the PC releases. Uh, we're hoping that they're going to get the uh, Forge update, the Forge World update, uh, when Halo 3 drops, but um, we're not sure. Um, in other Halo news is uh, Halo Infinite news. Um, a couple weeks ago, they finally revealed a teaser that proved that the Banished, which were the villains from Halo Wars 2, will be going to be are going to be in Halo Infinite, which is exciting news because it's finally going to be new villains that we've been looking forward to fighting in the first person games. They also finally announced when we will be getting news about Halo Infinite, which will be July 23rd of this month. Um, right on. We've been for almost an entire year since I think it was um yeah E3 was when they showed the last thing from Halo Infinite so they've been wait we've been waiting a very long time to hear news about it and everybody's looking forward to finally getting more information about it plus um it only gives um about three months of marketing before the game itself is released when wow. they wow this so they're gonna okay. have to pick up the slack to release the game but yeah I, I hadn't excited. heard anything about Infinite so that's all news to me. Yeah. Same. Um, it's all very exciting stuff. So uh, maybe that was their entire goal is to uh, keep the wait so long so that when they finally do announce it, like the hype is going to be overwhelming because already my Facebook page has been overwhelming with infinite news ever since they announced that. Huh. And other sources too have been the same way. So could be a brilliant all right. movie. All right. So it sounds like you Halo fans uh, have some good news coming your way. Yes. And we uh, definitely do information about that in a future episode. Once we do get the news, I will for sure be talking about that. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for the news. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, you heard it here first. Here first. <laughs>